Are you ready? We are live on the mic uh. with our host DJ Deuce and Bamboo Bam. Bam. Let's get this show started. Yeah, let's get this show started, man. We're live on the mic podcast. I'm DJ Deuce. This dude next to me is Bamboo. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, our yeah, boy it? down here is back again because we love him that much. Jones, have mercy. What's up, brothers? <laughs> Jones, you guys good? Good, man. Good. But, uh, we, we got a great show tonight. Um, Jones, you know, introduced me to this red pill, blue pill. And, uh, you know, before I get into that, let's explain to people what it is. So right. the term red pill and blue pill refers to a choice between willingness to learn a potential unsettling or life-changing truth by taking the red pill or remaining in con- content of ign- ignorance with the blue pill. So, Jones, break that down more for me for, for, for in logic term for us stupid people over here. What does that mean? Well, I mean, I mean, first of all, I'm not going to profess that um, I am the um, author or the original no, 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 no. of the red pill and the blue pill. I mean, the red pill and the blue pill, uh, I mean, the uh, analogy comes from the Matrix, right? Where, yes. Where Keanu took... Okay. Uh, took a pill and one pill took him one pill was going to keep him in one world and the other pill was going to show him the real or the real the real world um what are you guys bo- matrix fans what's yeah. that sorry matrix yeah. fans of the matrix, yeah, matrix yeah. Fans. Mm-hmm. when it boils down to it i think the red pill um and first of all let's not get this misconstrued yeah the red pill is not about misogyny the red pill is made for i think even women and men um, oh yeah And it allows them to see sort of the world that they've been living in and how they can make themselves better. I think the red pill, because a lot of people take the red pill and they say, oh, it's misogyny and it's against women. And 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 but in actual fact, I think it it, it really the red pill is actually showing you um, the change of times. And we're not, it's 2022 and we don't live like 1922 anymore. And uh, the uh, the whole Disney thing and, uh, you know, save the princess and whatever, not and not, and the way you used to live life and the marriage thing. I mean, the, the, the red pill is, the red pill, in, it, 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 it touches a lot of different uh, topics, uh, generational, nature, nurture, Bio, biochemical mm-hmm. it, it's not that easy you know, a lot of people see uh red pill on 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 youtube or media and uh, they immediately think it's bad they talk about andrew tate and and uh but do you think the conception true. of some of them that are red pill do come off a little bit yeah well yeah, well, yeah of course i mean it's going to come off but uh, red pill is no different from uh, the new wave of feminism right um yes so I mean, it's it's a it's a catch twenty two for me uh, personally. Um, I've enjoyed the red pill. Um, well, actually, no, I haven't enjoyed it. That's not the correct way. I swallowed the red pill, and mm-hmm. uh, because a lot of the things that um, a lot of the concepts that red pill advocators mm-hmm. and content creators, it it resonated with me. And um, uh, can I go as far as to say it saved my life? I think okay. pretty much Rolo Tomasi, and I would, I would say it again, mm-hmm. Rolo Tomasi, above all content creators that talk about Red Pill, Rolo Tomasi would be the one that you'd want to listen to to understand exactly what the Red Pill means mm-hmm. and what it can do for you and what it's supposed to do for you. And it's not misogyny. It's, a, it, it, it's meant to explain why things happened the way they did. Okay. So, um, like I said, when I swallowed the red pill at the time that I did in the turbulence that I was in, in the tumultuous time that I was in, in the spiral I was in, Mm -hmm. in the tornado that I was in, um, I wish I would have swallowed that wet red pill years ago. Um, Mm -hmm. the red pill acts as, uh, it's almost parental. Uh, for some individuals, uh, and especially when did uh, you when did you di- when did you come across this? I came across this um, probably within the last year. Okay, and um, I was going through some struggles, 
that I had been going through over the last couple of years. Some things had happened which were not of my control and of my control. But uh, it, it's going to happen to every person, man or woman, when you get to this point in life where you're trying to decipher exactly, okay, where am I going? How come I took this missteps? How come I took this step? Or where, like, what's, what, what's going on here? Um, I took it. I swallowed it. And then I looked at everything with my life, like most men do or women, but it's mostly for men. And I realized that the red pill is one of those things that wakes you up and it tells you, this is the right, this is the reason why this happened. This is the reason why that happened. This is the reason why that happened. But you wouldn't know it at the time because you're in where you are. Mm -hmm. Um, with that being said, you got the red pill, you got the blue pill. Um, when it boils down to it, you look at someone like Will Smith who slapped Chris Rock. And everybody said, oh my God, why could he do that? Yeah. But in actual fact, Will Smith was blue pill from Jada. I mean, she was on her show talking about he was with <laughs> someone else. It's true. What, what, man, what man wants your wife yeah. to talk about Sleeping nobody, with nobody, nobody. So nobody. he's he's about to he, he from that slap, and probably the very next day or soon after. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to swallow that red pill, and then he's gonna discover the reason why things were the way they were, and how he got there. And the red pill, it's not just oh I hate women. No, no, we, red pill. We love women. But you have to understand that the red pill, what it happens to you is it takes you from birth. It takes you back to the reasoning why you have the mindset you have now. And like Will Smith, I mean, you had a great career and all of a sudden you slap somebody who you're friends with, you're great friends with your brother. And everybody said, oh my God, why do you do that? The natural fact, people, I, 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 as soon as he did it, I knew right away. I said to myself, bro, that slap, was equivalent to you swallowing the red pill because now you're going to realize the things that you've done and you know you move on from there you didn't you didn't i i did bam you, i like that slap I yeah did too yeah did you, I, it was warranted i'm sorry i, I have about four or five slaps oh, on my resume oh, oh i wish they were at the oscars <laughs> did he say it was warranted yeah it was warranted you know, and here and, and, and here's the thing. I, I get where you're coming from. I get you talking about the blue and the red pill, but here in that whole statement, where's the accountability for what Chris Rock is doing? Okay, oh. you understand? Because for some reason, you ignoring the fact that this man is running around saying what he wants to say about anybody and whoever when he wants to, with no consequences. That's a consequence to your action. If you're gonna run around and keep running off your mouth. Expected to get slapped. You understand what I'm saying? So, friend or no friend, if I tell you something or you keep doing something and I don't like it, I'm going to show you that I don't like it. You understand? And that's what it was. Like, I, my quote is this. You can take Willie out to Philly, but he's still Willie from Philly. You understand what I'm saying? Well, well, you can take you can take Willie out to Philly, but no matter what, that slap was about the red pilly. And no. when, no. It, when, no. when it's... When it's all said and done, Bam, I understand your point, but in actual fact, I mean, what you 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 went on live TV and you slapped your homeboy because he knows him, mm -hmm. just because your girl got mad See? at him. See, okay, no, no, but, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bam. But hold on. his homeboy went hold on, on hold TV. On, Bam. His Bam, homeboy, Bam, hold on. The joke was about being uh, what, what was G it? G I G two. What was it? What was it again? Oh, nice haircut. You're, I heard you're auditioning for G.I. Jane 2 or something. Okay, so, yeah. so listen to this. So listen to this, Bam, before you start. G.I. Jane 2. First of all, Chris Rock roasts everybody. So you know what? Get tough skin. Secondly, if you think about it, instead of the slap, that could have been the setup for Jada, who has been probably jealous of Will's career. Mm -hmm. That could have been the setup for her to do G.I. Jane 2. He said the joke, it was a bald head white girl, and now he said the joke to a bald head black girl. Mm -hmm. That could have given her 
a movie. Instead, it didn't work out that way. So it, it's funny how we look at things, but mm -hmm. Will Will did what he did because he was blue pill. He was a beta. He's been a beta. He's been a he put Jada on a pedestal. That's blue pill. That's what the blue pill is. You put a woman on a Bro pedestal. Bro brother man. Disney. Brother man. Brother man. I'm I'm sorry to say this to you, but Will Smith ain't do nothing that an average man wouldn't do. You ah. can be at, you can you can be at a club. Yeah, but no no no. Let me finish. You could be at a club. You could be at a bar. You could be somewhere with your girl. And if some man or your boy comes up and start disrespecting your woman in any form of fashion, you will slap the shit out of him. You understand? What's the difference? Okay. Nothing. Okay. So what's the, Nothing. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You understand? So and and the reason oh, why he and the reason why he slapped the shit out of him is because of the disrespect. What gives Chris Rock the right to even talk about his wife? Period. Bam. Bam. Nothing. You're you're gonna equate you're gonna equate the clubs the club to uh, a live audience on TV. First of all, that that that, it, it, that cannot be that is not a measurable. Okay, that's not a bad. in the club. If he was to do that, of course you could you would be like, "Yo, what are you doing, bro?" First of all, don't approach my girl. Second of all, but so you don't give him more respect because he did it on live TV? Well, well no. I mean, if you really had a problem, you know what? And instead of sabotaging your career, you could you could have said you could have waited till the commercial, gone to the back and said, "Yo, Chris, I don't like the way you you you, you diss um, the my girl with the alopecia." I, 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 I see your point, but I don't. I don't have anything against him slapping a motherfucker in the face. Well, I, I think it's. I think and, that's, and it's not it about that. And you saying him sabotaging his career? Remember what you just said. His career, his choice, his right to not be disrespected by any man. But we're talking about okay. But bam, bam, bam. But and he it doesn't matter bam, where. Bam, bam, bam. We're talking about the red pill and the blue pill. And the point is this. The point is this. Will has been blue pill for a very long time. He's had to take a lot. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, when you, now eventually when a man or a woman takes too much, eventually they're going to snap. And a lot of people look at it as weird. Yeah. Because believe me, whenever I tell somebody this, they're like, I'm like, no, there's actually a reason. Because he's probably taken so much the, 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 from, from you like Tupac uh, uh, you, you've always loved to, to my kids loving Tupac to August Alsina. You mm. probably take him so much that unfortunately, unfortunately, and believe me when I say, unfortunately, the time you decide to snap is on the day that you're about to receive an Academy Award. I do, do believe that's what it is. Yeah, for the best part, it, 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 it there was also a lot of other people behind him, a lot of other up and coming or producers and of course they were of they were african american you decided at that point in time which i understand because you went crazy and mm -hmm. that's what happens to blue pill blue pill that's what happens because when you suddenly realize after that slap you suddenly realize oh my god i have been controlled i have been a robot for 50 something years of my life red pill Red pill. And, I know, but that sounds too extreme, bro. What are you talking about, Tom Sutrin? To slap him? No, 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 no. Being a complete robot. So, he is. No, but the thing is, he was a robot because all his life, yeah, all his life with mm -hmm. Will, he put Jada on a pedestal. She, yeah. She, Jada never had a career, or uh, she did have a career, but not as yeah. big as Will's. Not, not but, close, yeah. But could you imagine? Would you sit there? And allow your woman to talk about another guy that you that she slept with. Right? Keep that back doors. Yeah. Right. Because we know about Will, but we really don't know what Will. I'm sure Will's guilty. Too. I just don't understand how he's not smashing better looking broads. Who Will? Yeah. Will is smashing better looking guys. He's a he's a high value high value man. So, he's just like, saying it on TV because he knows what he is. Old, you know. What's that, so, sir? Jade is old. She, so, she should beat it. <laughs> so, well, I mean, Jade so, what I, so what I understand is, this is you, like you said, he if he slapped the man on the night yeah. he's about to win an Academy Award. Yeah. This is not Jada's night. This is not Chris Rock's night. Right. This is my night. Yeah, but okay. Don't but disrespect bam. me by talking about my wife on my night. Yeah, but you know what, Bam, Bam, Bam. When it boils down to it, when you're beta, when you're blue pill, 
And when it catches up with you, what I've noticed and what I've read and what I've studied and what mm-hmm. I've looked at is that when you're beta and the, your time's up, you're going to end up doing something that is completely out of the norm. This is what I've learned. Because you can't stay beta for long. A man cannot, well, most men. They, like, yeah, most that's men. what I was going to go. Yeah. Men, yeah. A, a, real, a real provider, a real warrior, a real soldier, a real gladiator cannot Those stay guys beta. don't exist for anymore. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. They, and if you are, and if you are a soldier, a gladiator, a warrior, inside, you will not stay beta for long. Eventually, it'll come out of you, and it comes out of you in the worst and most unfortunate and most craziest kind of way. Because look at Will now. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. My my bet, my bet, is that within the next year, Jada, you're gone. You're oh gone. yeah, oh yeah. You're you're gone because honestly. Okay. You're gone, Jada. And so you think she's bad. gone? You will. Do you think she's gone because it's his decision? Oh, totally. I think no. he took that red. I think he takes the red pill. I think, I think she the, takes it. <laughs> I think he takes, my guess is he takes that red pill. He what, takes a strap on, man. He ain't taking and a red pill. He, and then he comes back victorious. That's that's my prediction. He takes that red pill, Jada. Thank you. It's been 20, 25 Does years. Does he know that years. Tom Brady's wife's available, ex-wife Giselle? That's, that's why we should just go smash. You know what I mean? No, but that's another Big thing. Big Willie style. Mm, mm, but, the, mm. not, but here's the difference. But here's the difference with that situation. Tom Brady was always red pill. So once uh, Giselle said she was done, yeah. he was like, don't care. Still playing yeah. football. Yeah. Beat it. Yeah. You can make more money than me. Most men don't care how much a woman makes that's like, true do you, do you care how much a woman makes not at all do you bam do you care how much a woman makes nope so it, it, most men don't so what giselle you want to leave giselle you're close to 50 and you're leaving the greatest quarterback the greatest quarterback not yeah. football player but quarterback ever to play giselle goodbye mm-hmm. tom brady all red pill because you think I'm going to give up my dream for you? Yeah. Oh, you know how many you know how many girls Tom Brady can get? That's red pill. All yep. Red. That's red. facts. Take that red pill. Take that red pill. Take that red pill. <laughs> Straight up. Red now, pill. from a lot of like you, you brought up like last week Andrew Tate. Yeah. For people that don't know Andrew Tate, can you tell me a bit about him? A lot of people do. He was at one point the most searched Google on Google search, like his name and shit. Okay, so, Miss, Miss, so, so, fellas, I mean, like I said, I'm going to profess from the from the very beginning. I have only started my tutorial, my mm-hmm. tutelage, my schooling um, with Red Pill over the last year. So I don't, I can't, I can't go out and say everything. What I no, know, no, no, no. what and I it can be too long the, too. Opposite, yeah. What I know about the top G, the top G. I love the top G because the top G, Andrew Tate. That's what he says. The top G, he makes men or he attempts to make men bring back frame you know money muscle game and frame money muscle game and frame money you know what I'm saying he attempts to for those who are down who those who are blue he tells them hey, listen step up it's you know what you know what Andrew tastes like Andrew tastes like going to the army that's what Andrew tastes like it's really okay. like going to the army okay it's like mm-hmm. stand up soldier Get up, Just clean your shoes. It, it, it's it, it, it's a discipline. That's See, what he and on that's everything what, that I've watched. Like I said, yeah. I'm 40, 60. and a lot of his shit. I nod my head. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. And there's some yeah. I just want to be shut the fuck up. No man, you know what? But, but part of the stuff, part of the stuff that he says, yeah. Some of the stuff, stuff all of the stuff. It's bro, that dude is still technically inside a loser. Hey. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry that people follow him and look up to him as inspiration. Um, anyone that acts like him, uh-huh. you ain't gonna get through to people. And he gets he gets all these valid points, man. I'll send you some clips of this. There was a three hour video I watched, and I was like, at certain points, I'm like, shut the fuck up. The man, the man is gonna end up alone. No, he doesn't care about being alone. He says he has fun being alone. Trust me, mm-hmm. it's it's all been said. I'm just sitting, I'm sitting there going, 
I, I, there's nothing. There's the, the the positivity that he brings out in in, in you know what I mean, uh, self growing and making money and you know being successful and doing your own thing. I'm like, oh yeah, go. Cool. But then there's other shit like, oh, I just bought a car for uh, five hundred thousand. I drove it for ten minutes. I just left it there. Are you gonna sell it? <sighs> well, I don't need money. I don't need. But you did mention in the beginning of the interview that you needed to start a business to be rich. So obviously, motherfucker, you needed money. <laughs> Now that you don't need it anymore, all of, a sudden, all of a sudden it's like you never needed it. Trust me, motherfucker rubs me the wrong way. I actually feel like getting back in the gym at full time to fight this guy since he's Mr. Model Fight Everyone. That, that's what type of guy that he brought up in me. I was like, I like some of the shit you say. Yeah. But then some of the way you come off, man, you, you look like the biggest fucking douche on planet Earth. And if that's a, any pill of any sort, that's the goof pill in my book. Well, you know, well, you, well, I, I mean, I mean and, and you're allowed to your opinion, thus. But when it boils down to it, first Facts. of all, some, some of the stuff that he says, yeah, sure. Some of the stuff. Hey, some of the stuff. It's, it's some of the made, stuff that everyone says. But it's made for content to make people laugh. I mean, are we supposed Didn't to... make me laugh. Didn't make me laugh. Well, yeah, I know. But are we yeah. supposed to get mad at some of what Dave Chappelle says as well with transgender? I mean, he's only... He, when you say he's acting, well, that's what it is. He's acting. It's media. It's entertainment. Cool. So we're we supposed to take advice from an actor. Well... I think you're supposed to dis decipher the proper message that he's sending. Mm, when you true. listen to somebody, I think you should decipher the real message. Other stuff, you just discard. So, Andrew Tate for me, hey, listen, am I a guy who's going to watch Andrew Tate every Most day? Most judgmental motherfucker on planet Earth, but go ahead. Am I, am I someone who watches Andrew Tate every day? No. But do I enjoy his clips? Do I enjoy his um, bravado? His man bravado? His... It, 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 it's it, 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 you know what I, I I'm a competitor. I, that's where I see the, the 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 likeness. The other stuff I could care less about the Bugatti and yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. The Bugatti and all that stuff. You know what? That's just for me. That's just comedy. Um, because I think deep down with agitate, who by the way is half black, half white. Um, I think it's it's entertainment. Um, but would I have a problem hanging out with him? I, what a great party. <laughs> fucking whack as fuck that would be a great party the will smith in me would come right the fuck out if you know what i'm saying oh he, he, he would he would love will smith he would love will smith to come i was like getting that I, slap that that I, looking like i'm like jada i'm just oh, like that dude makes yeah, me sick are you gonna are you gonna go into the gym uh dust to uh to fight andrew tate because you know he's i'll a, fight anybody bro you know he's a champion right okay Okay. Okay. So when I fought seven people, I said, "Oh my God, I'm only by myself." Is that what I said? Like, what the fuck? I, I don't understand. When people had weapons, when I fought on the street with weapons, I said, "Oh no, sorry, this is not an even playing field." Do I look like a dude and act like I give a fuck? You don't. I don't give a fuck. You don't. No, but do what Andrew would say. Andrew would be like, "Wow, I can't fight him because if you know, I I got more to lose than him." And then yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Bam, what are you doing back there? Bam, bam, what are you doing back there? I'm chilling. I'm listening. You're gonna, you're gonna now, now with people, with the red pill, okay, uh, not all, not all, because you sent me a bunch of stuff to take over, and we said we're going to talk about this. What I found was most of them were just, because feminists, some of them probably have their, their right to be feminists, and there's some that are just extreme fucking cunts about it. And I oh, found some of them. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 no, but that's that's facts, cunts. And then the guy side, there's some that are, you know bring up good points, and there's guy cunts on that side too. Yes. Now, I agree. a lot of things that I was watching through the video, a, a question was asking a girl what their body count was. You know. Now, I personally think the last girls that I've been with, I never asked, and they I, they didn't ask me, because I think you're going to create the whole thing on a fucking lie, anyways. The truth will never be coming in. If you actually give one ounce of giving a shit, it's not going to come out. But what's the point of asking this broad? These Or woman, I should say. <laughs> there, Beautiful there lady. No, there, there is no point. There is no point? No, there is no point. There's, but bam, there's... what if you did find out that she smashed 30, 40 guys? And, <laughs> that's, a pro and that's a problem. Why? I'm not. I'm, I didn't say. I'm asking you. And if I did, not a problem. Don't care. Doesn't bother me because I'm man enough to know what I'm capable of and what I've done. You okay. I mean? And this is where the insecurities in both parties come into play. Of course. Rita. You know? 
You call it a beta, but I call it somebody who understands themselves. Because if you don't understand yourself, that's why you have the problem. Beta. Do you think that's a beta answer? Well, I put it this way. Actually, no. So what if you, okay, Jones, what if you got with one girl and she's been with two guys and she sucks in bed? Maybe you'd want to get the one that smashed 40. (laughs) You know? Well, I mean, mean, first of all, first of all, uh, bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, retract because the, the question should have been, the question should have been, what happens if you were to marry a girl who you know has smashed 40 guys? So if, if you're not marrying the girl, then sure, who cares? Smash, smash. You can, mm-hmm. you can, if the girl is not, if the girl, if that girl, you're not marrying her and she smashed a thousand, I'm going to smash anyways. But yeah, okay. But when it comes to a girl that you're going to marry yeah. and, you, and you know that she's, you know, smashed 40 guys and you live in a town of a thousand people, mm-mm, we're in a million it. people. Well, you could even say our town, our city. You know, even a, the thing about it is, yeah, even our okay. So even our town, like, have you smashed forty guys? It, I, I, if I know that ahead of time, mm-mm, I'm not, I'm, mm, 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 can't do it. Mm-mm. Okay, now why is that? Because um, when it comes down to it, she's gonna be the best mother, a loving wife. She cooks for you. No, because when it boils she down, takes, to she gives it, head I, better than anyone that ever gave head. Yeah, when it boils down to it, a man doesn't want to know how many girls, uh, how many, how many guys. Um, his 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 wife for eternity has smashed versus when but that woman, sounds beta to me no 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 i think i think i think most women don't care how point. most women don't care how many men uh, uh, most women don't care how many girls men have smashed but when it comes down to a woman i don't want to know i don't want to go someplace and but and doesn't I, that sound beta in a certain way no it's because i think, I think but, when but you're that's red my point. that's my it, point that's my point of why bother even asking Nope. No, 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 you know no. Okay, because... we're not saying even asking. Let's say like, it gets revealed. You find out through your homeboy smashed her 10 years ago. Okay, so... She had a train that night. Oh, okay. God. And then... so, 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 so... Oh, God. Okay, so... Oh, God. So, so, there so might be question... some videos. So, so, no. my question, so, 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 my question, so my question is this. What's the difference in the two if it, it, when they get married? What, what, what? What, do they both, what do they both bring to the table? If you married one that had 40 body counts and then you married one who only had two, what they both bring to the table? Bro. What What's the difference? Out? What's the difference? But, What's the difference? No, no, you're right, man. I, no, no, you I understand? Just no I just, my question is, is it is it an ego like, breakdown? Because me, exactly at the end of the day. Is. That's exactly what it is. It is. It's, so it's for me, that, 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 so when that, they ask you, those statements, for me, that sounds beta. That's you not secure enough with yourself yes. to handle what someone else can do well okay and that and that's and that's your opinion and and it, it makes sense and would i be secure sure i'd be secure but i also understand and with living and with watching how things have been with other people and i'm talking about probability not possibility as i look at probability and i look at people who have been with people and their girl has smashed many people. Yeah. The probability is that most guys are probably not going to like that because a man is designed in a certain way and men like to know that their woman has not smashed a numerous amount of people. You can say what you want about insecurity why are we looking at it insecurity? Why can't we just look at it as it's my preference? Why, why does it have to be because because I don't want you to smash a lot of men? It, I'm insecure? Or how about it's just my preference? No, I it's insecure. to be with a woman that hasn't smashed. Why is it insecure? Okay. It's like, it, 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 it's, it's, it, it's I'm going like, to tell you the positivity it, 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 of, of like, being with a woman. Like, no, 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 no. Honestly, it's almost like I like, I like, I like um, sherbet ice cream. Oh, you shouldn't. Well. I, I do, and that's my preference. Why am I? In, why should you make me feel insecure for for liking <laughs> the stupidest thing? But if you no. didn't know about it, then 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 if I gave it, if I gave you other ice cream in a sherbet fucking container, and you wouldn't know because I lied to you, and you wouldn't care. 
Well, no, you, you have to. So all of a sudden, this ice cream tastes fine, too. No, but you'd have to taste the ice cream to know if it was sherbet. Yeah. So you said a container. Quite different. You see, the blue pill, you see, the blue pill is. That sounds fucking blue to me, bro. The blue. What, no, no. I, I think, I think, I think, I think what it boils down to it. The red pill is undoubtedly man talk. Yes. The That's blue true. pill. A lot of people don't see the blue because they've lived in, in blue for so long. Yes. They don't say and anything until, else. Until they go through trauma. Yes. And, they, and then they'll understand, oh, my God, I have been blue for very long. When you swallow that red pill, the red pill, what it does is it makes you start back from the beginning, mm -hmm. maybe even from birth. It takes you back. And it, it explains why you did what you did. Mm -hmm. And the red pill is meant not for you to get misogynist. No, no, not no, no, for no. You to get angry at women. Not for you to. It's meant for you to say, wait a minute here. Money, muscle, game, frame. Money, muscle, game, frame. That's what it's meant for you to do. So Andrew Tate, he decided long time ago. Money, muscle, game, frame. And that ultimately brings women. Beta men mm -hmm. don't bring women. That's true. Beta men are Disney. They're get the princess. Red pill men treat women the way they want to be treated. That's why bad boys get women because they're red pill. Beta guys put women on a pedestal. Yeah. So let's go back to the probability. Of? What's the probability of you finding a girl who don't have a 40 inch body count? Okay, because here's, here's the hip hop. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's, let, let, let's, let's, no, no, let me finish. What's the probability of you finding a girl that don't have a 40 body there's, count? There's because, no, 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 let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, because every man, our purpose is to go out and do what we want to do and smash on all these girls. So guess what? That probability of finding someone who haven't got that many body counts is very low. You understand? We are the cause for that yeah, but problem. Yeah, but here's, here, but here's, yeah, but here's the difference. Bam, bam. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Most men, when it comes to women, they can smash anybody. If if I was a woman, so if I was a woman, so have mercy yet. Yeah. At e or et have mercy yet goes out, opens up my legs, goes on the street. Everybody down the street, around the corner, around the block, at the gas station, at the metro, they're all coming. To, they're all coming to screw me. Yeah, but if I go out and have mercy, come out, pull out my schlong, and say, "Come fuck me," I'm going to fucking jail. I'm going. I'm going. To, I'm going to the loony bin. I'm going to the RO. You see, a woman can smash anybody, and especially if she's even average looking. Imagine a good. That's right. Imagine a good looking girl. She can go around the block. They, 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 but the your point, but your point was, you, my point is this, your man. Point was you, you, you don't didn't smash like the fact as many people as you, women do. You, but your point, is, your, but your point was, but you your point was, as as but women. your point was, you don't like a girl with a lot of body count. The problem is, the girl have options to do whatever she wants in that fashion, and we are the problem because once one guy knows that she smashes, they all gonna go smash. <laughs> Wow. You, wow. you think you think that you think that every man you think that every man's the same? No, listen. <laughs> you, you 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 got Chad and Tyrone. You got Chad and Tyrone who get to smash all the women. Yeah. Not men smash the women. Most women want what? They want six six six. What do you think six six means? Six inches? Six figures? I do pretty well without any of those. <laughs> yes, but most women, most women, if you look on online if dating. If you look at most, yes. If you look at a majority. If you look at yes. online dating, that's what they go for. Yeah. Okay? That's what yeah. they go for. So when it boils down to it, the stats are there. Like, I'm only saying stuff that, that's been regurgitated. Oh, so 100%. It's facts. Okay? When mm -hmm. it boils down to it, the red pill, 
would I suggest for people for men to take it? Yeah, definitely. Why? Because it is going to make you a better person. Not to hate women. You, you, this is not the red pills. The red pills not about that. The red pills about understanding yourself and getting once again money, muscle, game, frame. Because a man in time has always had to build himself. Mm -hmm. Once you're a man and you build yourself, women come. Mm -hmm. But if you're some bobo who doesn't do anything, yeah, and um, doesn't have any money, 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 muscle, game, frame. Women yeah. don't want to. They want a confident man. Well, a confident man tends to do certain things. Red pill. That's True. what the red. The blue pill. The blue pill is one of those things where you're just sort of, you know, at the mercy of women. And when it boils down to it, but some are just bred to be that. Do you want to be at the mercy of women? Some uh, have to. What's that? Some have to. Some just don't have it, bro. Well, too bad. Too bad. Then suffer the consequences. But suffer the consequences. they're suffering the comfort consequences. They are. They are. I would but, never want. I would never want to be at the mercy of a woman. But that's exactly that's my point. That is you. That is you. That's me. That's whoever. That's that's. I get that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm not here to go around and try to convince people you should do this and you should do. I don't give a fuck what some of these. No, I don't give a fuck what any of these people do. Their lives. I don't give a fuck who they're married to. We know people, Rob, are married to fucking cunts. You know what I mean? Married to fucking cunts. Life is fucking miserable. That guy's a super loser. Lost all his fucking friends. Fuck you. Swallow blue pills till you die, you motherfucker. I don't care. I'm not here to <laughs> preach and ask making people, you need to do this and you need to do that. No one fucking listens anyways. Andrew tweets, Dwight tweets, wasting his fucking breath. Everyone's wasting their fucking breath. Be beta. Get the fuck out of my way or you get slapped. Will Smith, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> fuck that, man. We can so preach all we want. People don't listen. So fucking, I love watching people torture themselves. I love it. I love a fucking unhealthy relationship. It makes me happy. <laughs> I love watching two losers that are looking at me happy and pretending that they're happy, but they want to kill themselves. I love it. Mm. I want them to all take blue. Well, I'm going to have a blue pill party. Fucking have it all. I don't give oh a shit. Oh, my God. You know what he is? You know what that was? That was the Chad Tyrone the Chad Tyrone move, meaning meaning once Beta screw up, there's Chad and Tyrone, Mr. Dust, DJ mm -hmm. Dust, to come in and sweep it up. You couldn't do anything, Beta, but Yeah, I don't care. Red, he's red pill. See, he's red pill. He just doesn't want to put the um moniker, but he's completely red pill. I right? don't well, give a fuck what moniker. everyone else is. Purple, well, fucking, dust. you can be fucking homosexual pill. I don't give a shit. Dust. Okay, let's do it. Red pill. Okay, let's do it, Dust. Dust. Mm -hmm. uh, do you plan on getting married? No. Okay. Dust, do you believe in money over women? Yes. Do you believe in working out and keeping yourself in shape? Yes. Do you believe that if you were to keep a woman for yourself, you would want her to have less than five guys. If you if, if you really I don't give a shit. Up, I really don't give a shit. Okay, so do you want to be in a okay, how about I'll frame it like this? Do with thus, if you were with a girl and you liked her, but then again, you're red pill, so you never go that far, would you want a guy to come up and say, I smashed her in front of your face? Yeah, and I'd probably look at his and said, I smashed her too. Okay, um, let but, me reframe the question. But let's listen. Let's listen. Okay. Let me, let, no, 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 no. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. If I get or date, these are some bad bitches because I have super high standards. Okay? Yeah. If some dude goes, I smashed your girl, obviously you fucked up to not be with this bad bitch. Yes. So either you sucked in bed or you're an ultimate loser or you were the blue pill to begin with. So how the fuck does that offend me? I'm super ego, bro. Right. I know I get my ego in check. I don't right. disrespect. You know, you guys have been out with me. I never disrespect anyone. You know I'll smash a motherfucking balancer. You know I'll smash the whole fucking bar. You know I'll, 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 I'll pay for the whole fucking time. But I, my ego's in check. I'm, I'm, I'm 40. My ego's in check. Right. But do I have one of the biggest fucking egos on earth? You do. Hell yeah. You do. I love it. 
but I think uh, but bottom line you got a problem but, but, but no 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 but bottom line are you confident in yourself to know exactly what you want no yes you do I don't know what the fuck I want everybody does what do you mean but the, everybody if, if you're confident in yourself it doesn't mm-hmm. matter what this person say or that person thinks oh, or whatever the case may be. it doesn't matter and this is the problem I'm having because people who's sitting there saying, I want this, I want that, I want this, they have problems. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because they need to look in the mirror first and solve their problems. Just like you say, Jones, money, this and that. Those are problems that you're having. Solve them first before you can go out there and demand something from someone else. You but understand? he says that that's how those things come apart to get the woman. Those women come. It's facts, bro. Mm. Dude, Jones has been out with me twice. Twice. He's witnessed himself. I'm not going to say anything. Everyone's very nice. But the thing is, you act a certain way. It, it just comes naturally, bro. I'm telling you, it's confidence. It's it's definitely alpha. It's definitely the bad boy image. Trust me. You, mm-hmm. Bam, you these know that, things, too. You and I go out all the time. These things play a part. They also play a part. But once you're confident, all of that comes in place. It eventually does come, yeah. You understand what I'm listen, saying? Listen, bam, bam. That's all great, no. But when it boils down to it, we've lived mm-hmm. in a society over the last dec- um, century where we were told that you do certain things, then you get married. Yes. And you have children. It's this the book, been, the book of life. This has been the concept. Yes. Okay. This has been the concept, I would say, up until up until a certain time that you, yep. you do certain things, you get married. And you Graduate school, go to school, meet your first girlfriend, That's right. get and married, you, pop out kids, children. buy a house, all that shit. Children have children, you become grandparents, you die. This has mm. been the concept. You cannot tell me that this has not been the concept for you because this has been the concept. This has been the ideology for people over the last hundred years. Except the red pill changes everything. Yeah, Feminism changes everything because mm-hmm. over the last 40 50 years, the role of women have changed, and rightfully so, because they were held down for a very long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we've come to the world now where we need to investigate again. Are we supposed to still be man and wife and and, and, and have kids? I think things, I think we're in, I think we're in a time of complete revolution of all concepts just like a couple of episodes ago about the electric car mm-hmm. that's a revolution mm-hmm. i think we're in a revolution of of how everything is determined and how we look at things now and um mm-hmm. the whole concept of getting married and going to school and having kids and getting married, i think that all changes and i think the concept of also marriage and monogamy i think as we go into the new century, monogamy is not the way we're going. I think I'm, we're going polymory. I'm going to tell you what I've what, in my life, okay. what what I've what I've witnessed or what I what I've seen or what I you know what I mean with relationships and people and other people's relationships. Yeah, I think everything has an expiry date, bro. And what I mean by that <coughs> is, if I hooked up with a girl when I was 20, and let's say usually 20s, you know, you're, you're you fall in love, and that's probably when you fall in love hard because you're young don't know any better okay. and you right. married her and then you turn 32 33 you're not the same dude at 20. No. so she's definitely not going to be the same woman true and there's times where like people just have to fucking realize we had a good run it's time to move on Maybe. that's what the issue is and people stay together and fight to death and you ever you ever we know a bunch of boys hey man can you come out oh i gotta ask my wife oh she's at now <laughs> mm. what the fuck's wrong with you that's that's terrible and that's terrible if you do the same to her not not mm. one or the other same to her. and it's like from 30 to 40 i became a whole different dude you know what i mean so when you're saying i'm gonna stick with someone for 20 25 years there's no fucking way at the end of this run that people still have the same feelings for each other. It becomes more of a, a habit, a schedule. You know what I mean? And now more than ever, it's more financing. Sometimes you're you're looking at this fucking wife or husband being like, I can't stand this motherfucker. I can't fucking move out. I got three fucking kids. Probably better for the fucking kids. Let's just fucking be, you know? And that's what life becomes. It becomes yeah. fucked up. Everything, just like milk, it's an expiry date. 
realize when you start to notice your life starting to become unhappy, she or he's unhappy, guys, step the fuck up and move on. There you go. Facts. That's that's right. just what I've noticed over life. I just I just these relationships <coughs> are fucking terrible when they go long term. That was that was that was that was amazing cuz I mean, well thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and and I wish I wish I was able I wish for everybody that they are able to make that decision. The dust DJ dust decision when that happens. Because, uh, and I think in the future, as we move on, what you just said, people are going to be able to examine it. And Mm -hmm. they're going to be able to examine it from the beginning. And they're going to be able to say to each other, um, it's not going to be, oh, I love you. Um, We're going to be together. Oh, oh my God, you're the best. I think now it's going to be more of a, okay, listen, we're going to, just like you said, we're going to change over time. Um, I'm going to want to fuck some more pussy. And she you probably want more dicks. You, 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 you may want to suck some other dick. She probably but, needs to but, come to 40. <laughs> that's right. You may want to suck up with some other dick or many dicks. And I may want to be with many women at multiple times. So, mm-hmm. yeah. but we're together for almost a business decision. It's almost, right. it's almost going to be like, we're together because we, because no matter how many cocks you suck, uh, no matter how many di- pussy I fuck, I still like you. And I still like you in a certain way to kind of hang with you and, and, and 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 when it boils down to it, you're more successful in a group than you yes. are. So, Unfor- unfortunately, that's exactly true. Yeah, and that's it. And you know what? Mm-hmm. At the same point in time, you can do what you're going to do. You're going to do what you're going to do. It kind of still stays fresh for us when we, we fuck. I'm like, who did you fuck? I'm like, mm, I I just fucking fucked three bitches. I'm like, one was on my face, one was on my dick. It was great. But at the same point in time, uh, listen, the the bell bill has to be paid. Fucking <laughs> right? It, 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 I think this. Is way we're going and i think it's the safest way because there's no jealousy there's no envy what i do and um i think this may be the way to go in the future i think so it saves from being divorced it saves from going from all that stuff and my point is everyone (coughs) and and i mean this for everybody in relationships single bread pill i don't give a fuck make sure you're fucking happy and think about what happiness means to you. And if it means that you can't... That but I'm just saying, in general, even today, whoever's listening to us today, if you notice you can't do certain things, or you come into a room and you have that gut feeling that this isn't... Eh, like, think about it. Are you happy? Is this what you want? You know what I mean? Is, 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 is your partner not letting you do certain things? Are you not allowed to go with the girls? You're not allowed to go with the boys? Like, is there things that you'd love to do and live? Because guys, <coughs> one fucking life. And as we know it, we all of us know multiple people that passed away. Lots too many to be even mentioned that passed mm-hmm. away. Guys, every time someone passed away, take a reality check on this isn't forever. That's yeah. right. You ain't happy, you gotta move on. Yeah, and it's yeah. sometimes one person needs to have bigger balls. It might even be the girl. One has to be like, yo, listen, this sucks. Yeah. It was great. And I pre- I always said that. There's even friends that I don't talk to <clears> today <throat> that I say, hey, man, I still appreciated our friendship for X amount of years. Yeah. Unfortunately, it ended this way. Yeah. I'm not going to say fucking guy, piece of shit. No, I had great laughs, great times. I can say that. And yeah. just like a relationship, you can be like, hey, can it, can it all be all bad? Every time I ask someone goes, oh, you know, I'm fucking left so and so. I'm like, at the end of the day, it wasn't all bad. Yeah. It wasn't. So unfortunately, the ending is. But sometimes you should try and catch it before it gets worse. That's all. Amazing, amazing advice. That's amazing all. Advice. Coming from the amazing. single guy. Amazing. amazing advice. Amazing. And that's what it is, right? At the end of the day, we had a good run. I mean, with that being said, yeah, sure, there's going to be some fire, some, some, some connection and mm-hmm. some feelings. But at the end of the day, when it boils down to it, what a great statement. We had a good run. And um, I kind of like to put it this way. We did the best we could mm-hmm. with the faults we had. A hundred percent. I like that. And that's it. Love and, it. And, like and then, the, of course, the detachment. Now, the detachment and the detaching takes a long time because you've been thoroughly involved with this person. Mm-hmm. But when it's gone, it, it's gone. It's gone, and it'll move on. And you can you, you can now look at not it. You, you you will look at it not as a bad thing, but you look at it as, like you said, it mm-hmm. was a good run. <clears throat> Excellent advice. It's a good run. Red pill. I think. I think what. But red anyways, pill, red pill. What it yeah. does. 
is it tries to explain to men and to women yes. the things that they go through at the stages because we all understand women go through a lot of different things throughout their life. Absolutely. Men are pretty much streamlined through the whole thing. Pretty close. Women tend to... Mm -hmm. Right? So, like I said, the single man, that's the safe spot. (laughs) It's the safe spot. (laughs) It's safe. I agree. (laughs) It's safe. Bam, you disagree or agree? I agree. (laughs) <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> yeah, of course. The single man is the safe spot, bro. I fucking hope, sure hope so. Anyways, I want to let everybody know, man. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. We're here mm-hmm. every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's at Live at the Mic Podcast. We're also on all major streaming platforms, Spotify, Amazon Music. Nah, the list is too goddamn long. Mm-hmm. We're on all that shit. Please subscribe, comment, tell us how we're right and wrong. I, I, you know, there's hey, there's three great debates here. This is fantastic. You know, it's a great time. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tell yeah. me what you think. You know? Let us know. Yo, please let me know. And then, you know, I get very angry. So come at me and I'll pull this shit back up next week and read this shit because I don't care. Know, <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Know. Guys, this was a great debate, man. I love everyone's opinions and options and, and you know, th- ways of thinking. I, this is why I like three. The more the merrier because I love to see people's angles and what where they're coming on mm-hmm. what side. You know what I mean? It's dope. Guys, again, thank you. Everyone that was listening, thank you very much. Peace, Peace, bro. Later.